What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here, and today I want to talk about a hardware wallet that I picked up and it is the Ledger Nano X and why I did so. Now, going through it, I mean, I was looking at getting one of these for a long time now because I had a lot of my crypto stored on Coinbase, which I knew wasn't all that se secure. So I finally purchased the Nano X and the reason I went with the X and not the S is not so much for the Bluetooth, but I can hold up to 100 different cryptocurrencies on this one device is what they claim. Now on the Nano S, you can hold up to three. You can only install three apps on it. Uh, going back, the, the X does have Bluetooth capability and the Nano S Plus does not. And that's pretty much the only difference between the two. But So going back, I could have just gone away with the Nano S Plus. But I did buy them in a two pack so that me and my girlfriend can both have our own. So she has a Nano S and I have the Nano X. Uh, but the design is pretty nice. It just opens up just like that. You hold the two buttons and then it turns on and it'll prompt me for my pass key, of which I did enter a eight digit pass key, which I'm not going to show you guys, obviously, because it does go to my device. And then to shut it off, I just hold these two buttons again and it goes into the menus and then. I keep clicking over till it says power off and then you hit both buttons and it'll shut itself down. Now, why I I did this now and the setup. Actually, let's talk about the setup first. So setting up was fairly simple. I plugged it into my computer, downloaded the, the Ledger app for my PC, and it pretty much just walked me through it. Now, it does come with, and I'm not going to show you guys it, but it comes with recovery sheets. Now you want to save these and I'll show you one of them because it came with a few. And on these recovery sheets, I'm going to get my blank one out. You want to write down the 24 word passphrase that it gives you. And on the back, you'll see 24 lines for it. Now you will need this even for setup, but this is the only way to recover your device if anything were to happen to it without this passphrase, if you anything happens to your device, you are going to be out of luck and you're going to lose everything that is on this. Now, I went through the process, wrote them all down. I also stored them elsewhere in case I do lose this sheet, which I shouldn't because I'm going to keep it in a safe spot inside of my house here. Now, once I do, I, I will probably just lock it away in a safe of some sort just for safekeeping and also I want it to be fireproof in case something were to happen inside my house and I, something happens to the device and also happens to the recovery sheet, I will be shit out of luck and pretty much not able to recover any of it. Now, once it's set up, you're gonna have to download what they call apps in it. And you'll go into the manager and download apps for whatever coins that you want. Now, some of them will use a third party application on your desktop which i did not do i know I, I own some raven coin and right now it's still on an app on my phone as far as the wallet they do use a third party uh application for it so i will look deeper into that and how to set that up but for now i only did the ones that you don't need to do that so currently i have ethereum bitcoin and ethereum classic all on this device now, i'm not going to obviously show you my dashboard because it's personal and that's just where i plan on storing it all now with the X, since I do have it, it does have Bluetooth. So I was able to actually sync it to my phone. So when I go into the Ledger app, I can see where everything is at. And I can also transfer funds from there uh, via my phone and also update apps or install apps as needed. Um, but why did I get this? Uh, I wanted it for a while because I want my coins to be as secure as possible. Now, when you have it on an exchange, it's not all that secure and ones like Coinbase, which are publicly traded companies, uh, things could go wrong. Now, with times like now, crypto down so so bad, things could also happen. I know there have been exchanges that have shut down transactions because I guess they can't afford to it. I don't afford to have them, but right now I don't have money on it or any coins on any of those exchanges that that happened with. But I know Coinbase also laid off 5,000 employees, so I decided now's probably the time to get my hardware wallet and protect my coins as best as possible. Now, if things were to happen on an exchange and your coins are there, you may end up losing out on that. As far as filing bankruptcy, I doubt Coinbase or any of them is going to 
do that. But another thing is, as a crypto miner like myself, I was mining all my profits to Coinbase for the most part, which isn't all that secure in the end. So the hardware wallet, as it works, in order for you to get the crypto out of my wallet, you will physically need this device. Uh, so if I were to want to make a transaction to somebody, I can't do it in person like I've done in the past where I just send it through Coinbase. I would actually need this device hooked up probably to my computer where a ledger is and actually do the transaction that way. Now, this device actually holds the private key, which secures my wallet. So when the wallet's saved on the blockchain, this holds a private key to it. So when there's a transaction on it that it needs the private key, I actually need to have this device hooked up and verify the transaction. Now, that is why I to get this to keep it just that much more secure now as far as the exchanges go obviously i don't know what's going to happen with them where they're going to go but i'm assuming they'll be pretty safe for the most part in the meantime we're just going through a tough time as it is but i did want to get my hands on a hardware wallet and keep it as secure as possible because when it comes to your cryptocurrency security always matters now when I'm talking about mining, I'm always talking about efficiency. Now, when I'm talking about my wallets, now I'm going to be talking about security and you want it as secure as possible. So right now I do still mine to Coinbase. So I, I could set it up to mine to my ledger directly, but I'm going to keep mining to Coinbase, letting it generate revenue on there. And then once a week or so, I'll transfer whatever I have mined and earned to my ledger. Now there is going to be a small fee accrued with that with bitcoin it is very very small with ethereum it could vary depending on how much network traffic there is at the time uh during a high time like nft drops or something like that i may have a lot more gas fees to pay for that transaction so uh, i probably would hold off until it's a little bit lower but times like now fees seem to be a little bit lower so i do just do it probably once a week now since i just got this i did do pretty much large transactions all at once but like I said, it does store my Bitcoin, it stores my Ethereum, and it stores my Ethereum Classic. All three of them didn't need third-party applications. Now, I, the other uh, coins that I do own, I do own some Shiba Inu, uh, but that's still on Coinbase. I do own Ravencoin, which is on another uh, wallet application called T0, which I set up years ago when I was mining it. Uh, I may look into it like i said to try and get my raven coin on here but it looks like it's not as straight and cut forward as the other applications are but transfer it was pretty simple once i downloaded the app i was able to open the application on my device while it was hooked up to my computer and then once i generated the wallet uh i had to verify it on my device that the wallet address was correct and then I sent it from Coinbase uh, on, on their website. I went, send it, send it to wallet address that was linked to my ledger. And then a transaction happened pretty, pretty smoothly. I mean, so one took a few minutes. Ethereum happened probably in like 20 seconds. And Ethereum Classic showed up my wallet after about 20 seconds also now. I know it's not fully in there. Sometimes there needs to be a bunch of uh, ver verifications on the blockchain before it's fully functioning on there. but. It is all on here. Uh, generating the wallet didn't take too much time once you have the application, but you do have to verify it on your ledger. Now, you can say that you don't have the device physically when you are sending it, and I believe it would still send to your crypto wallet on your ledger, and then you can sync it later. Um, when you plug this up to your computer, you can just sync the device to your computer later on, and this will update with your wallet, update your wallet on it. But in order to get crypto off of it, I believe you do have to have this device hooked up and verify that transaction. And that's what makes it so secure. So if somebody were to get my wallet address and try and send money out of it, they won't be able to without this device. Now on Coinbase, if they were to just get my password, they could just pretty much wipe me clean of everything that I have. Uh, so that's why I did want to go with one of these. But uh, as far as the ledger, I don't have experience with any other hardware wallets. This is my first one and hopefully my only one I'll ever own. I don't feel the need to buy a bunch of them to do reviews since one is good enough for me. And from my research, the ledger seems to be really secure. So I did go with them. But I'd like to hear what you guys are doing. If you still have your wallets on exchanges, I mean, I would highly recommend getting them off. I know I've left mine on there for years, so it's kind of hypocritical for me to say that. 
uh, and it's been relatively safe for the most part, but I would highly recommend getting a hardware wallet and keeping it as secure as possible. Just that little bit extra security of having a private key rather than a public key. It just makes me feel a little bit better, helps me sleep better at night. But setup was fairly simple. Um, you know, let me know if you guys are getting hardware wallets. If you guys even don't trust the exchanges at all right now, let me know in the comments below. Uh, or if you're just going to say, screw it, I'm going to leave it on the, the exchanges and go from there and hope for the best. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.